Hello everyone, in this video I go over the situations that the Tesla full self-driving beta can't handle very well. Tesla releases bug fixes and this might be fixed by the time you watch this video. Before you start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe or leave any comments down below. These corner cases were found out by Oliver Cameron, the CEO of Voyage and his Twitter handle is on the description of this video. Number 1. FSD appears not to detect the median lane in the dark and in this case it tries to drive down the wrong side of the road. Take a look at the video. <laughs> that was going to go on the oncoming lane, did you see that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's exactly why you have to take over. Number two, FSD appears not to understand that this is a one-way street preventing the lane change to the left. Humans intuitively recognize this based on the directions of the parked cars, the traffic lanes, and the traffic lights. It's wanting, it's thinking this is too, too way for some reason. There's something wrong with the map data here because it shows the left hand side being oncoming because it keeps turning yellow. It should be white. Number three, in this case, the car doesn't know which route to take. It keeps switching from left to right, causing a need for the driver intervention as the vehicle drives for the curb. Number four, FSD appears to be about to hit a sign requiring intervention. There are no detected objects in the visualization. Oh yeah, that was gonna clip it. Oh gosh. Number five, FSD decides to proceed at an unprotected junction even while a vehicle in cross traffic is oncoming. Perhaps the dark limited the range of the cameras? The car was going so fast. I had to engage, disengage there because it didn't detect that car. Some on Twitter claimed that this could be prevented if Tesla had the detailed maps of the streets that the cars are running in. But there seems to be enough evidence that it's not the case. In this image, we can see some evidence that the Tesla has preloaded maps in its software. Note in this image the obscure cross street on the left that's already seen. If humans can detect these objects and drive in the streets with their eyes, it seems that cars would be able to do the same with their cameras. These bugs are due to its classification and prediction software, more so than its hardware. We'll see how Tesla FSD software improves over time. In the meantime, leave any comments for questions down below. I hope you have a great day. Bye.